Hello? Hello? Mr. James? Yeah? David, yes, I'm reading today. Okay. And who are you? Uh, and, uh, I'm also fine, sir. Thanks for asking. And uh, this is David from U.S. Pharmacy regarding the medications. Sir. Ready for new order? And you, do I know you? What's your last name? The last time you bought the CLS, remember? So it says I can give you the same deals if you want. So you're just, you just called to read the script. You don't want to have a conversation. Nothing I say matters. I ask a question. Yes, go on without even acknowledging that I speak. Is that how it works? It's kind of rude. Oh, I, didn't get, I didn't get this. Sorry, sir. Well, I asked you what your name was twice, you know. The first time I asked you, all you said was thank you for asking, and you know, but you didn't answer. And then I, my I, name I, is David asking here, and you just went on with your script. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out who you are and what's going on. I'm sorry for that. Sir. I'm, uh, my name is David from U.S. Pharmacy, sir. Yeah, David what? For the third time already. Okay. It's David of uh, Bible. You had to think of it. Okay. And the name of your company is U.S. Pharmacy? Yeah, that's right, sir. Okay, where are they located? It's India, sir. Okay. You have an address? Every legitimate business has an address. Why don't I see um, one for, you, for U.S. Pharmacy? If I Google it, all I see is a bunch of scams. Yeah, I know that, sir, but uh, you can just have a word when then you can just uh, think about that. Not yeah. each and every U.S. Pharmacy is uh, uh, scamming and everything, sir. There are a few who are genuine also. Well, yeah, a legitimate company has an address. Do you have an address? Yeah, we do, have, but it doesn't show up on Google or anything. Well, uh, why is that? If, if you know, every other, every other legitimate, every legitimate business on the planet does. Why, why doesn't U.S. Pharmacy? It's in uh, Mumbai, sir. Okay, so Mumbai doesn't have any legitimate business, or Mumbai doesn't have any addresses. We are not uh, allowed to share the address and all, sir. Okay, well, well, who owns it? I mean, you can you tell me something to identify the company as a real as a real business? Because as far as I can okay. tell, it, it doesn't appear to be. Okay, let's do one thing, sir. You are not getting a trust, so if you are ready to place an order, I can give you a great deal, sir. Okay, well, but you can't identify the company, so why would I give like ordering it for no, somebody that is an honest person? The deal I'll be giving you is you are, like it, on, on the phone. Somebody that no, no. somebody that's using a California address that claims to be in Mumbai. Yeah, because we, we used to call the customers in U.S., so we need a U.S. number. Really? Okay. So, yeah. so I can call you back at four one five two zero 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 nine three six. I can call you back at that number, and you'll answer. That's it, sir. That's it, sir. Okay. All right. Well, why? Uh, why is it that, that that number doesn't show up as a, as associated with a, as a address if, if, I, if I search for it? It doesn't show up, sir, because uh, it's in the California number, and it doesn't show up for Indian uh, address. Well, if I Google that that U.S. pharmacy, that address, that phone number doesn't show up. Let's see what happens if I, if, I, if I Google that phone number. What will it show me? Uh, well, because well, in pharmacy? India, it's not allowed to uh, sell this kind of drugs and all, so it's illegal over here. So that's why it doesn't show up on Google also, sir. Not even the U.S. pharmacy. Really? really? Well, that sounds an awful lot like an illegal scam operation, doesn't it? Okay, like I to I told you, sir. If you are ready to place an order, I'll give you a great deal. On that deal, you like to place an order, and you'll be. Testing us, sir. Yeah, I just Googled that phone number, and it just shows up a whole bunch of illegal telemarketing scams. A whole bunch of Yeah, because... A whole lot of complaints because, about it. No, no, just tell me, sir. If you are getting many calls from other pharmacies and everything, and uh, customers just uh, block your number, then it gets a spam call and all, sir. Well, yeah, well... It goes well, like that. Why, is that. why are a lot of people reporting your phone number as uh, being a scam? The, because they don't know like who is the genuine pharmacy and who is not a 
what a so thief and all, sir. What? If you are ready to place an order, I'll give you a great deal, and then you can just think about that, sir. Oh, why would I give? Yeah, you know, if I were to place an order, I would have to give you like uh, some kind of payment information. Why would I give? Payment information or anything. No, I don't need any of your payment information. Why would I do that? I don't. I don't need any of your payment information, sir. Uh, I tell you what. Uh, hold on. Okay. So. We'll... Hi, this is Max. How are you? Okay. So, how are you, sir? Fine. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Well, there are a couple of criminals uh, over at the same time here. So, can either one of you explain why I should give you any, any money or any information? Sir, so, so today we are going to a promotional offer. I can provide you the medication in cheaper price. So, may I know which one you take? Okay. Well, may I may I know the name of your company? Sorry, sir. May I know the name of your company? Sir, I will provide uh, I will provide you all my details, sir. Really? Okay. So go ahead and do that right now. What's the name of your company? Let's start with that. Okay. What information do you need, sir? Well, I only asked the name of the company several times now, but you know, I don't know why that's such a mystery. You know, did you just call me yeah. here? Is that it? Yeah, I, I will provide you each and every detail, sir. We have a callback number. We have a website. Why haven't you done it already since, uh, since I keep asking? Sorry? Why haven't you done it already? I mean, I keep asking the same question, but you won't answer it. What is the name of your company? Well, who the hell are you? I mean, you know, let's... <laughs> This is United States Pharmacy, sir. United States Pharmacy. Okay. Well, I've already got United States Pharmacy on the line. Okay. Mm-hmm. So which medication you take, sir? Why do you take Cialis? Well, which one of you guys on the line? I've got, I've got United States Pharmacy on the line twice here. You know, two, two people claiming to be United States Pharmacy of Colorado. I've got you both conferenced together. So y'all go ahead and, and, and talk. And tell me, prove to me which one of you is real, if, he, if, if any. Mm-hmm. I'm the best one, sir. I'll provide you the best deal from my side. Uh-huh. That sounds like something I've seen with Jay, yeah. Which one I can provide you. you I can provide you. Just let me know how many pills you're looking out for and which one you want. Well, which I'll let one you know the you price can provide me with a valid address? Which one of you can identify your company? Yes. Hey, what? I'll, I will place a $1,000 order right now to, to either one of you that can identify your company. Who's going to do it first? Hello? Yeah? Like you can see, sir, like he just hang up the call, sir. Yeah. So he's not a... Uh-huh. He's not a genuine pharmacy, sir. Really? I'm still here waiting for you to uh, let answer my call, sir. Well, you still haven't uh, identified the company, have you? Sir, let me tell you one thing, sir. If you are running an illegal pharmacy and uh, mm-hmm. you can't give your address and anything on call to someone, sir. That's why we don't give our address and everything. If you want, I can give you um, word to word that I can deliver the product within uh, 8 to 10 days and I don't need any of your information and everything. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Okay, just send me a... Uh, I'll tell you what. You know, if yeah. I've done business with you before, then you have my address. If, I, if you have my address, then you can send me a letter, right? explaining who your company is and who owns it and where it's located with the address and a phone number that I can call the, the business office of the company on there. You know, the, any legitimate company would provide that information. And, in fact, every legitimate company that does business in the United States uh, through telemarketing is required by law to provide that information. So, so, so why don't you lick a stamp and send me that information, right? Okay. okay one, here, I'll, here, I'll know you're legitimate, okay. right? Mr. James, once again. Can I, can I just hold on and can you have a word with the manager because he has the rights to give you mm-hmm. each and every information. Can you just hold on? 
though he has the rights to give me each and every information. That's an amazing thing. Yes, sir, because he's a right, manager you know, over here. And he has you know, the caller is required by law to give that information, right? So, so, so uh, I, I really don't 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 uh, care one bit about his rights over there. His rights to provide information mean absolutely deadly squat jack shit over here, okay? Now, you know, you're required by law to provide information. You know, it's, you, you know, it's extremely rude to call somebody and not identify yourself anyway, right? And you people keep doing that. So, you know, so I feel like until you, you can identify yourself, I, you know, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be, be uh, 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 bothering people or trying to get people to send you money, right? Because it's extremely rude mm-hmm. as well as illegal. So I already know you're 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 a rude criminal. Okay, that much will, will, has already been established. All right. So, but if you can identify your company, send me lick a stamp and send me a letter. All right. You telling that information? Then I'll know you're you're legit. Okay. Fair Hello? enough. Hello. I did it. Yeah, I'm saying like what if I you don't trust me, right? What if can I? Why you? would I? Why would I trust some criminal that calls from the phone, won't even identify the company, breaks a bunch of different telemarketing laws? Okay. What I asked you <laughs> another question, sir. Can I trust you? Why would you? Why? Why? Why would a criminal trust the people he's abusing? Tell me that. <laughs> okay, like uh, listen to me. I mean, if I can reach through the I phone and, and, need... and grab your throat, I'd choke your ass. Okay. You know, we both okay. know that. Right. Yeah, I know that. That's why I'm asking, can I trust you? Because the reason I'm asking is, I know you're not ready to trust us because you know, used to get many calls, they're mm-hmm. solving everything going on. So what my company does, like no one other does, we used to send the product as a COD and then you can pay me after getting the product because okay. no one does that and we do that. Okay. So how do you like this? I tell you what, why don't you send me the product, right? And then after I check it out, I'll decide if you deserve to be paid. How's that? Like, so uh, that's what I was ask, trying to ask you, but you were not listening to me. And you were asking for stamps and everything. We don't uh, do that because it's an illegal thing over here in India. We don't. The, our law doesn't allow us to do that. Really? So we can't give a stamp. Well, you're doing business so over here, and so it seems to me that the law here should be what counts. I couldn't care less about the law in India. It's not allowed, sir. So that's why we used to do, and uh, we used to uh, deliver the product. If you want to, you can yeah. place an order for I'll give you a small order. Uh, because, uh, and even when my, you're not ready to speak with my manager. So if not, I can give you a bigger order also. I can get you a bigger order. Yeah. If you are ready to place... Uh, yeah, you changed the way you did business about a year ago, didn't you? Sorry? You changed the way you do business about a year ago, right? Yeah, sir. Do you know why you changed the way you do business? Many scams, Can you there are many scams going on through cards and yeah. Western Union and everything. Yeah. So that's why my company does uh, this thing. Yeah. We used to deliver the product. Then you yeah. pay me as soon as you get the product the next day. Do you want to know why your company's all changed the way you do business about a year ago? I can tell you why. Yeah. I'm the reason why. Yeah. Oh. You criminals kept uh, harassing me, so I started giving you a bunch of orders using fake uh, fake credit card numbers, just like you use fake car ID and fake company names and all that. You guys okay. actually tipped 34 orders with, uh, without ever getting paid. Right? And, uh, That's the mistake you're doing, sir. That's the mistake you're doing. If you're giving your card details... Well, I gave fake if you're card giving... details. I would never give you real card details. No, no, I've never you paid you guys order. a penny, and I never would. But you guys shipped me like a 65-year supply of this crap, right? And, uh, and and you kept shipping it. Your boss actually, your boss actually threatened. He claimed to be a lawyer first, and he threatened to have me arrested. He threatened to have me sued. Then he got mad and started threatening to have me killed. Uh, and it was really funny because I, I actually wrote a chapter in a book uh, uh, showing other people how to scam your sorry asses as well. Uh, but you keep calling anyway, so it's kind of funny. So, you know, you can read the book if you like. It's called Trolling Telemarketers for no, sir, Free Profit. Sir, sir, like what I'm asking it's you. It's on Amazon. If, you're, it's, it's, if you give me your number, uh, give you give me your fake card details, I'll put on my system, then it goes to a different uh, company, 
to charge your car then if it doesn't goes through then those that company gives your card information and your number name your order your address to another pharmacy so you used to get many calls from that right that way yeah well you guys were calling me all the time before I started doing that but I warned you I would and you kept calling in okay, so I started scamming me and I scammed the crap out of you guys I've called, each and I've called you guys over thirty thousand dollars so far uh and then and that's just the ones I've placed I've showed other people how to do it too so um, you guys have probably have probably lost a hundred thousand dollars or more because of me that's why they changed the way you do the business uh and uh, yeah. okay I, see sir i'm not do, uh, i'm not talking about other pharmacy I, let me talk about my pharmacy and yeah, but you can't even talk about your pharmacy <laughs> that's the funny part like, you don't need to ask me that uh, so because i'm asking you like <laughs> after getting the product you need to pay why would i do that why would i ever because, pay you anything because i need a customer I, we are not like the other funding co- companies well, at all why should i give a damn what do you need <laughs> why should i care what it, at all, what do you need? Why Why would your needs mean anything whatsoever to me? Seriously. Okay, let's do uh, The only way I would care about your like, needs you is I sincerely hope order? that they are not met, okay? <laughs> do you really want to place an order because I don't to waste my time or even your time, sir? Why do you waste need... your time? Like, I've, I've already told you I would never, ever give you guys a penny for any reason whatsoever. Okay, you know? no problem. Bye-bye. And so yet you keep calling anyway. Hello. Hello. I said this is David. How are you doing today? Okay. And today we are running an off home branded medication menu which on duty. Again? Sorry? Again? Well what happened, sir? Well I'll just wonder if you run it again already. So which one do you take? The Viagra or the CLS? Are you going to identify yourself and your company this time? You're just gonna hang up, ain't you? Your memory ain't too long. The person you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave a message. Yeah, how you doing? I just wonder if you don't if you don't love me any, anymore. <clears throat> you know, I mean, I, I I was hearing from you frequently, and now you know, you seem to have lost it. Hello. Hello, Dave. Yeah, I, I just missed your call, sir. You've been calling on me. Yeah. I was just wondering why I had heard from you why you were not taking my calls. Man, who's, call, who's this, sir? Yeah. Well, you, you were calling me earlier over and over, and you know, I'm, uh, I was just wondering okay. if, if the love is lost. Okay, the reason we were calling you because we are calling you from U.S. Pharmacy. No, no, are you no, looking for I any medication? But, you know. Sorry? I'm, I would just say that, Dave, but, <clears throat> yeah, I was wondering mm-hmm. if the love is lost because you, you know. Sorry? Well, we disconnected earlier and, you know, and I was having such a good time and, you know, I, I, I was wondering if you, if you don't love me anymore, what's the problem? Okay, let me tell you, sir, we are not working right now. It's, it's past our working time. So if you, if you don't want to mess with us now, 
then make sure you don't call us again or else we will make your life a living hell okay what? so just a request yeah that's what understand. you heard it right i don't understand what don't try to disturb us sir please okay oh. if you don't want anything fine mm-hmm. we'll not call you again listen to me listen to me if you don't want anything we'll not call you again take a chase well but if you don't call and disturb us uh, treat people like this uh, yeah. mm-hmm. i beg your pardon well, i'm just wondering why you would treat people like this i mean you know, i hear from you so often and you know, it, it makes my day you know they, they, because i okay, I'll, listen to me okay listen to me you people we bought this data you know, sir, sir, dave, sir, sir, dave, sir we bought this data you know, dave obviously you have such a attraction listen to me uh, to me and I just don't know how to uh, The person you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave a message. Well, David, yeah, it's me. Um, I'm starting to think you don't love me anymore. Why aren't you calling me? Why did you Why did you hang up on me? You know, um, my feelings are really hurt. It's just one of those things, I guess. But you know, you know, how can you do this to me after after all? The person you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave a message. Yes, it's me. It's William again. I, I don't know what happened. You know, I'm, I, I miss our interaction. Is it over? How can I live without you, Dave? Please let me know. Hello? Yeah, you got him. Can you repeat what you did yesterday? Yes, sir. What's up? I'm Mr. Arnold. Yeah. This is David, sir. We're doing today. Same as yesterday. You going to start calling me and hanging up again like yesterday? Sorry? You just going to keep calling and hanging up like you did yesterday? Okay, I'm sorry. What's your problem? Bye-bye. Why do you keep calling me and you don't want to do anything except just, just, just waste your time and mine? Uh, Why do you keep calling my number? Okay, I'm sorry. There will be no call from now on. How does that work? Yeah. What? 